Hello, guys. Uh, Keith is not here today, so he wanted me to tell you some uh, important news of some video he found of the Battleship Texas. Huh? What? All right, all right. Who am I trying to fool, right? Just can't get one passed on you guys. Let me tell you about this video I found, but first, let me, uh, let me say this first. You know how sometimes you, uh, you might go and buy a tool that you need for a, oh, I don't know, a project that you've got coming up on your car. Any kind of tool, it doesn't matter what kind of tool, just, just buy a tool and put it in the garage and wait for the weekend so you can get that little project done. Weekend comes, you go to get your tool, can't find it. Can't find it anywhere. You look, you look, you look. You can't find the dadgum tool. The project is not an emergency, so hey, you let it wait. And you let it wait, and weeks go by, maybe in some cases months go by. And then all of a sudden, what shows up? The tool that you had just bought for the project. Now you've already gone to your buddy's house, got the project done, and now you got a brand new tool sitting on your desk, bought and paid for, that you're never gonna need again, most likely. Well, the, the, the reason I told that little story is because I've had one of those kind of situations happen to me uh, with uh, information that I've been looking for on the Battleship Texas. Now, for quite some time, and I, I want to say years, I was looking for a video that showed the steam whistle, steam horn, fog horn, whatever you might want to call it, blowing on the Battleship Texas. Now... I have found one that I'm about to share with you guys. It's very short, but to my knowledge, it is the only one in existence. And to my knowledge, since 1948, when the Texas was put where she currently is, at San Jacinto Monument, that, that steam horn has not been blown. The reason I'm thinking that is part of the agreement in the U.S. government giving the ship to the state of Texas is that neither steam nor compressed air would be entered into her steam systems. Now, the steam horn might work with compressed air, I'm not sure. Seems like it would, uh, with enough of it. Uh, but, to the best of my knowledge, that horn has not been blown since 1948, prior to the ship being put there. So I've got video of that horn being blown. If you've ever wondered what it sounds like, that's what I've always wondered. Yeah, this. This horn right here, that one, that's the one I'm talking about. So I've always wondered what it sounds like. So I finally found a video, very short, like I say, that shows what it sounds like. And I'm about to share that with you folks. Now, I literally spent a very, very long time looking for this sound or this video. Never could find it, gave up. And then just like the tool that you found on your desk when you no longer needed it, the video just pops right up on my feed and there it was. So, so far as I know, this is the only recording, video, audio, or otherwise, of the horn on the Battleship Texas being blown. Here it is right here. Now, I told you it was short, but there it is. We've all heard it now. It's much, much different sound than what I expected. Probably different from what you expected. But there you have it. It's been a Jeep, a drone, and an old man. Still digging up information. Still looking. We'll see you next time.